right, hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So sorry if you hear any loud noise. I do have the windows open because it is a pretty warm day here in New York City. And so my room with the warmness outside and with the lights, I am like melting. So this video is going to be on the new Kat Von D Holiday 2016 Limited Edition Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Now I cannot believe I spent $60 on this, but I did film a little quick, simple tutorial for you guys with this eye look that I have on right now, and I want to say I really thoroughly enjoyed using these shadows. Oh my gosh. I so enjoy using these shadows. So last year she did come out with the Mavita Loca Remix Palette. I do own that one as well and that one sold out pretty pretty quick. I was lucky enough to go to Sephora in store and the lovely young lady that helped me she pulled it from the back and I was able to get mine. But like I cannot tell you I really enjoyed using this palette today. So let's talk about the packaging at first. So it just says metal and then when you flip it over, it says matte. Just like everyone else, I was like blown away by that. Not mistaken, Kat Von D does all of her artwork for her eyeshadow palettes. And then it is it is really, really big. Like everyone was not joking when they said how big this palette is. It is huge. It is a, the same width as her normal palettes. It's just longer because you do get 13... I think 13 mattes and 9 shimmers. So you get 9 of the Metal Crush eyeshadow formulas up here and you get 13 matte shadows. Now I am familiar with the Metal Crush formula because I do own Synergy full size. So that's the Synergy right there. I do also have Thunderstruck and I have one other one, the more gold one. So I am pretty familiar with the formula. The formula of the Mac, of the Kat Von D Metal Crush shadows are absolutely superb. Um, minimal fallout. Even with even with using these, I did use uh, Twinkle, Watt, and Tinsel. I did get very minimal fallout. Tinsel, I did get a little bit of fallout, but from other reviews that I did watch on this palette prior to purchasing it, Tinsel is the one that is a bit more chunky and I can't agree to that, but I actually don't mind it. And then I did use some of the mattes here. I used Velour, which is the most pigmented blue eyeshadow I have ever used in my life. Velour is the, that is the most pigmented blue I have ever used period and I do have some matte blue shadows I have I feel like I have like other brands of blue as well and this is the most pigmented blue I have it running on my uh, my waterline but like this is like the most pigmented blue I've ever used I also used a ribbon and it's a beautiful matte purple I really did enjoy using ribbon as well really pretty Pig pigmented and it blends it into my crease really really nicely I also used oak and suede I mixed those two shadows together just so I can use it as a transition shade and that's about it so you you can do a lot with this palette I love how it also has some neutrals so as far as the metal crush ones go up at the top you have tinsel, which is the more chunkier of the bunch, but it does not lack pigmentation whatsoever. And that's tinsel. And then Synergy, like I said, I do own Synergy full size. And Synergy is just a really pretty bronze shade, perfect for every day. You can also use flash on your lid or in your inner corner. These are all great. Like the formula of these shadows is absolutely amazing so I'm just gonna swatch each finger on the back of my hand so that's how the ones I used swatched this palette does not lack pigmentation at all and yes um, I am familiar with the Kat Von D matte eyeshadow formula as well I do have like the shit in um, light palette I do own the monarch palette which is currently discontinued you can still pick up the shade in light palette though I do own those and yeah when you put your brush into these matte into these matte shades they will kick up a bit of product but they are creamy 
beautiful they do blend really really well even on the finger they feel so nice they feel they blend beautifully on the eyes so I do I do like her matte shadows a lot um what else do I want to say so yeah you can go ahead and get crazy or you can also do like a neutral look if you want to use oak suede and bone synergy even glitz glitz will be great for like a nice neutral eye um tinsel will be nice synergy flash and then the ones even feather um fringe silk those would be great for nice neutral eyes but if you really want a pop of color that's when you have moss and velour and even this shade down here velvet could be used for like a really pop of color on the eye or for a neutral eye and then you have nebula watt and ignite and twinkle vault you can you can do a host of shadow combinations with this palette i know a few people did in the reviews that i saw prior to purchasing this palette i know a few people felt like it wasn't as cohesive as they felt it should have been um i actually don't mind i came up with this look pretty quick um and it's like i said it's super simple the tutorial will be more towards the end of the video super simple tutorial um I see a lot of different looks I can use even if I was just to use like if I was just to use these three here these three that'd be a nice eye or even these three or even these three these three look really cute together you can do anything with these black and white shades um, linen is like a pure white but bone is like an off-white um, I wouldn't I don't this is like extremely creamy I don't know what I would really use linen for but I guess I could use it to like help blend out other shadows or really if I want to put this as a base because I am a deeper skin tone I can use linen as a base and pop one of the shimmer shades on top to really brighten it up and the tutorial I do go in with twinkle on my eye but it came out a little light than I wanted to so I just add a watt on top and watt is absolutely Gore, like are you guys seeing what that is absolutely gorgeous I love this palette and yes it is $60 so you will be paying a pretty penny look at what you'll be paying a pretty penny for this palette but I say it's absolutely absolutely worth it um it is super limited you guys once this palette is gone it is gone at my local Sephora in store it was sold out I did go in store like a day or two before I purchased it and it was sold out so I ended up luck luckily it was still in stock online so I ordered mine online but in my local Sephora store this was sold out so I will say that if you guys don't get it you I you guys are gonna miss I absolutely love the formula I love the pigmentation I do not regret the $60 I spent on this palette whatsoever I do highly recommend um Sorry I didn't do like full on swatches, but as you can see, the pigmentation does not lack whatsoever. I ne I've never had a problem with pigmentation as far as Kat Von D's shadows. Um, her matte shadows can be a little iffy sometimes, but other than that, I don't see a problem with these mattes, and I don't regret it. So I'm gonna stop rambling, and we're gonna get on to the eyeshadow tutorial that is super simple. I hope you guys like it, and really experiment with this palette like I will be doing. If I had to compare between this one and the Kat Von D Mavita Loca palette, I absolutely love them both. They do have a mixture of different shades. The palettes are different. As a matter of fact, let me go and grab my, my Mavita Loca palette really quickly. So here you have the Mavita Loca palette and my camera is just gonna darken um so here you have it you do get the same pops of colors in the middle you have your neutrals but when you have shades like hopsicle hopsicle analog rewind you do still have your neutrals as well but i do think that these palettes are different um they are different the shades just aren't the same even if you have I don't know how to pronounce that shade, but even this dark brown, this dark brown is a lot deeper than the dark brown, than Oak and the Mavita Loca palette, I mean, and then in the um, Metal Matte palette. Sorry, my camera cut off. So here are both of the palettes. I'll insert a up close picture, but you do get a nice variety. 
and them both. I'm not mad that I have both because the shades are different. You do get more brighter, um, like brighter, like neon shades in this one than in the matte metal matte palette. I do feel like they are different. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this little look that I created for you guys. I didn't do anything crazy with the lips because the look the the with the lips because the eyes are so like boom bam out there but I really hope you guys enjoy and I will see you on the next video.